Good morning and welcome again to another episode of Frustrated to Freedom. I am Bill Morrow and this is your, uh, what is it, episode number 114, The Value of Self-Image. Self now, I've been out of action for a few days. Excuse me while I turn off that noise. I've been out of action for a few days and I have been busy visiting a family friend who had the uh, sad news, devastating news of cancer, which was uh, unoperable. So now um, she has to deal with the situation ahead of her and family and friends, everyone around can help in some degree, but it's still down to the individual to get to grips with the situation and what we don't know is how long we have and when something can strike us something can take us out of action the shock the realization that time is not unlimited what you need to do now is to take some action and get some results in your life and that is what i did and that is what I want you to do. I want you to take action in your life so that you're not going to be in a regret stage so that you get to, oh, if only I had done, if only I had tried this, if only I had tried that. That, my friends, is the stage where it's regrets and it's no good. So the sort of thoughts going through your mind at this situation, if you were caught in a situation such as this, would be, what if, what if, and everything else. If I only had joined that, if I only had done that, look what I would have achieved by now. The happiness and so forth I would have had. All of these things are incriminating, but they're all things that you now can deal with because you're in a situation where you could do something about it now, because you know that life is not unlimited. It's going to stop, and you can guarantee that it will stop. We don't know how, when, why. Well, which we know we run out of steam, certainly, but what we have to do is to get to grips with what we have now. And the value of self-image, Going back to ourselves and to our theories, the value of self-image is a case of how much and what do you think of you, yourself, self-image? What value do you put on you as a person? Do you want to be remembered? Uh, do you want to be, well, of course you will be remembered at some stage, as, oh, that old bloke there who did nothing and achieved nothing, or look what he got, look what he did. Yes, and then it's a case of the individual, how much they will get out of life, how much they will be able to achieve, the travel, the friendship, and all those things, the people they can meet, the people they can help, massive, massive things can happen, all of those. And life is a matter of attitude, yours. You take care of it, you have it at the moment, and it's you. You're the one who's got to do something about it. So we started off, and self-image is what you think of you. So what sort of value do you put on yourself? How much are you going to invest in you, in your business? which is in fact you. That's it. So you're going to put money into yourself. So, oh, 10 quid, 20 quid, $79. That's the tops. Rubbish. Is that all you value yourself? Do you think you're going to start a business for $79 or 150 or $500? No, you're not. I started a shop and that cost me thousands to set up a shop. I had to mortgage my house and everything else. This is the value you put on what you're doing. So you had the confidence then, a bit wavery, but you had the confidence to get on and do things. And that's exactly what you want to do. 
negative thoughts they're all going to be in there and if you've got to think now about the value you're going to put on yourself forget it you will not be able to put a value on yourself if you've got to sit there with a calculator and work it out wrong you won't be able to do it so you've got to say right i'm going to put everything i can into that i'm going to get some more and when that's needed i'll get some more and then it will start to accumulate that's what value is all about and that's what confidence is all about the fact that you know you're doing it and that's exactly my friends is what i am doing i've been in there i put it in and i'm getting the things moving forward forward all the time and this is what you want and life is what you picture it now in the description down below there's quite a lot of detail in there and this is what I want you again to read that but remember everything can come to an end very quickly you can prepare for it or some people just don't bother you're not going to just carry on and eventually someone will open the door and drag you into it you are the one who's got to make your decisions about where you're going and how you're going to get there and this is the perfect opportunity for you to do so so self-image procrastination all that sort of thing should be out the window you now know about these things you don't want to deal with them you simply want to be in there with a positive attitude the correct mindset and you know that you are going to get to your goal and your goal as you know is to achieve what you set out in your list of goals and in your list of goals you then know exactly where you're going and when you're going to get there remember you put a time and a date on it and this is it and the other thing is to be happy in everything you do pleasure Gain the pleasure, use pleasure to help yourself, your family and friends and get what you can out of life because life can be cut short without you realising it, without things happening. So get on and do things, get working. Now that my friend may be a hard lesson today but it's a positive lesson and it's a real one that comes in very, very quickly. So think of yourself self-image get on make it do it make it happen see you later